there's a level of ignorance around this whole thing, not necessarily with Dave Ramsey, perhaps even more with Hope Solo, in regard to how to play and win a game. To me, it's a really ignorant comment to suggest, well, they didn't play the way we play. They won the game. You know, we wouldn't have won the game that way. We, we, we do it a different way. They, therefore, they're cowards. You know, therefore, they're, they're beneath us. I'm sorry, that's nonsense. You know, that's one of the beautiful aspects of the game of soccer is that there is no one way to get a win. You know, you can't tell me that if the switchbacks make it to the USL conference final and they're playing a team that Steve Trichu considers to be technically superior to them, more dangerous offensively than them, that if he feels like he can come away with that title by catching that team on the break and then parking the bus, he isn't going to do that. Because the history books aren't going to say, well, this is how Trichu got it done. They're going to say switchbacks won the USL title in 2016, right? Absolutely. And history forgets the details. And in yeah, I, I, I am 100% behind you on, in saying that to call Sweden cowards for the way that they played, it's, I mean, it's ignorant. That, mm-hmm. And, and you, you hit it right on the head. I, it is funny, though, how much we as sports consumers love passionate competitive fire until we don't. No, no, no. no but I think there's a difference there as well. I agree with you. There are players who on the field are super fiery and they... Uh, they split opinion, right? You have some people going, well, that's just disgusting. You know, the way he tackled, throwing out. And then there are others that go, look at the... Pa- if you took, How often have you heard this? If you remove that from that guy, if you took that facet of his character away, he wouldn't be the player he is, right? Right. You hear it all the time. But to me, that's different from what happens post-game. We're not talking about somebody here who's 19, 20, 21 years old. She's been in, what's it, two or three World Cups, two or three Olympics. She's in her 30s. You know, Dave's piece, he says... Um, her fire raged out of control again Saturday. I'm sorry. Buy a fire extinguisher. It's BS. <laughs> the way she acted and the way she responded, it's not, not only is it not the way that an American athlete representing your nation should act, but certainly isn't in line with the Olympic spirit. 